Red terror tactics in South Vietnam hit at the United States Embassy in Saigon. Two Americans and 11 Vietnamese are dead. Kennedy had sent 15,000 military advisors to South Vietnam. It was a clear enough commitment. But Johnston worried about where it might lead. On March the 2nd, he called the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to read him a top secret analysis of options. One, pull out. Two, negotiate a settlement. Three, send in the Marines. Or, four, we continue our present policy of providing training and logistical support for the South Vietnam forces. This policy has not failed. And we lose in what we're doing. We've got to decide whether to send them in or whether to come out and let the dominoes fall. And that's where the tough one's going to be. And you do some heavy thinking, as little Jewish boy said. Yeah. Do some heavy thinking. Let's decide what we do. Yeah. OK. What the telephone calls underline is that both Johnson and the tight little circle of top brains he'd inherited from Kennedy were totally out of their depth on Asia. I just can't believe that we can't take 15,000 advisors and 200,000 people and uh, maintain the status quo for six months. I just believe we can do that if we do it right. Now, I don't know enough about it to, to know. Uh, so I don't. Do you think it's a mistake to explain what I'm saying now about Vietnam and what we're faced with? Well, I, I do think, Mr. President, that it'd be wise for you to say as little as possible. I, the, the, the frank answer is we don't know what's going on out there. Saying as little as possible to the media was one thing. Johnson's problem was how he said it. To get the American people behind him, he had to be good on television, and he wasn't. Who is the father of us all? As a political animal, at full velocity, on stream, he was irresistible. One epical flaw. He never mastered television. He treated television in the same way that one picks up a wolf by the ears, very gingerly. And he, uh, he always thought that uh, whatever he did on television was uh, going to be compared with this enormously charming and fascinating uh, John Kennedy. So he became grandfatherly and presidential and oftentimes boring. Knowing he had a lot to learn, Johnson asked his wife, Lady Bird, to review his performance. She phoned his office from their private room upstairs. You want to listen for about one minute to uh, yes, my critique, or would you rather wait till yes, tonight? Yes, ma'am. I'm willing now. I thought that you looked strong, firm, and like a reliable guy. Your looks were, were splendid. The close-ups were much better than the distance ones. The answer is no to both your questions. Every now and then, you need a good, crisp answer for change of pace. And therefore, I was very glad when you answered one man. Uh, the answer to, uh, is no to both of your questions. In general, I'd say uh, it was uh, a good B plus. How do you feel about it? I thought it was much better than last week. Uh, and, and, and at any rate, I felt uh, sort of on safe ground. I mean, like you had sort of uh, gotten over a, a hump psychologically and in other ways. And uh, I love you very much. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>